Don Alexander here with Gene Coda Executive Search. We connect outstanding firms in the life sciences industry with executives who help bring game-changing products and services to the market. Today, I'm pleased to be here with Kevin Cronin. Kevin is the VP of Corporate Development at Protein Metrics, a company that's creating software tools for protein characterization to match the rapidly innovative hardware tools created by leading scientific instrumentation companies. Kevin, thanks for your time today and welcome. Thanks, Don. I'm delighted to be here. Excellent, Kevin. Thank you. So, Kevin, a few questions for you. First and foremost, what prompted you to consider leveraging a search firm and what concerns did you have about using a search firm in general and or us in particular? Um, when I arrived at Protein Metrics about a year ago, I took out a new role. Uh, in my 30-year career, thirty-year career, I have primarily led uh, scientific software sales and marketing teams. I'm now in the role of corporate development, looking to expand the business into new areas. And by definition, new areas meant working into networks of people that I did not know. Um, I had worked with Don uh, many times over the last 20 years with both of us over multiple uh, firms that, that we were employed with and had great success in having Don help me find good candidates who were successful in careers in these commercial scientific software companies. Uh, so I knew that I needed help. And the first person uh, in my list that I called for help was Don. That's fantastic, Kevin. Uh, a great overview, and uh, really goes to I think why you probably chose us to to assist you in these endeavors. So, um, any other experiences that uh, you might comment on in terms of what it's been like to work with us? You know, maybe benefits of uh, working with our firm. Um, how has that gone? Um, yes. Well, in the past, when Don and I were working together, I was uh, filling mainly sales roles, roles that I understood well, had a good network, but Don had his own separate network. And it was pretty straightforward to define the characteristics of a successful candidate. In this particular case, uh, we were moving into a new area, and I really didn't know the type of person that I needed. I had a, a broad outline of the technologies that we were going to serve and the kinds of companies that we wanted to work with. Uh, but working with Don, I was able to define the background that would be most uh, successful uh, for, for our candidates, so lead to a successful candidate. Um, and in the first uh, month of the search, uh, Don and I worked together to put together a list of possible companies where these people might have worked at for previously to, to gain the domain expertise. But then I was also looking for business development skills, uh, people who would be able to represent new technology without a well-defined product with a lot of marketing materials. And again, these were new skill sets uh, for, compared to the people in my network. So working with Don and his support team at Gene Coda, we were able to put together a profile of the ideal candidate. And then Don, Don himself and his team worked on uh, developing uh, potential candidates for the for the position, we refined that with one turn, and then was able to, were able to identify a series of very good candidates, and in a timely fashion, uh, came to the desired outcome of three well qualified candidates, uh, any one of whom who could have fulfilled the role, and ultimately we selected one and went forward with that person, and they're off and running, and uh, we've been very successful uh, both uh, with the ability to find the person and to get them on the ground running. That's great, Kevin. Uh, and and uh, it sounds like you, you all have had a tremendous uh, outcome from uh, your relationship with us there at Protein Metrics. Um, uh, I'm curious if, you know, if you've experienced, and I'm sure you have probably worked with other firms like ours in the um, search industry, or maybe even brought more broadly into the services industry. I mean, what, what do you feel like makes uh, working with our firm perhaps different than uh, others that you may have worked with in the past? Um, I do work with other firms and uh, particularly in other geographies, uh, you know, for instance, people who have their strong network uh, in Europe or in Asia, or, or possibly in a slightly different focus than the life sciences area. But what I find, first of all, is that the strength of the relationship that I've had with Don, which extends probably 20 years now, 
uh, over a number of companies. And I've had positive outcomes of using Dawn as a resource for those companies over the years. And that is so important to me as I begin a new search, knowing that I've got a trusting and successful relationship with Dawn uh, before I begin the specifics of today's search. So that's a critical factor. Also, Gene Coda brings resources to bear uh, on the specific position of interest. The ability, once we identified, I think it was about five companies who had specifically technologies of interest to us and to be able to go and research people who were business development candidates, but who had worked for that type of technology. Uh, and I, I don't, I haven't worked with other search firms that have that kind of resource. They were much more um, dependent upon their network of candidates in an identified area already. So that was that was new to Gene Coda and a really positive uh, outcome. Uh, but really the combination of the strength of my relationship with Don and the resources that Gene Coda was able to deliver to the search were the two two major uh, success criteria that, that, I, that I, as I look back. That's great, Kevin. Thank you. Uh, so um, just lastly, or finally, uh, what advice, if any, would you um, give to others that may be considering working with, uh, with us? Um, I think that the um, having a, a as, as well refined uh, a definition of the type of person that you're looking for and the experience they bring is important. Uh, I didn't know that coming into this particular role. So not that it was a lengthy process, it was timely. We did get a good result in, in the time that we outlined, um, but due to my changing of what, what I needed for criteria, and that came from external advisors, uh, I kind of changed course that I asked Don to follow, you know, a month into the search. So we might have been able to uh, accelerate the process if I had done that work in advance. So that'd be one thing, you know, in particular. And then the second is recognizing that, uh, you know, what's on a resume and and uh, is important, uh, but the personal work that Don does to pre-qualify these people before introducing me to them really was an important factor. And to, to have somebody like Don that I can trust to do that qualification work where he knows that looking at 10 resumes that look somewhat similar, that six of those candidates are not going to be a good fit for me and four of them are and promoting those four uh, will be. And so being able to uh, have confidence and trust in Don really, really helps the whole process. That's great, Kevin. Uh, venturing into new markets at Protein Metrics. So yeah. always great to hear. Well, thank you very much for your time today and speaking with us. And we look forward to our continued relationship. Thanks, Don. Best of luck to you.